Hello guys, welcome to this new video update here on QNT Quant and I will discuss the short term price action. Can we still expect further upside for Quant, my next trade setup and also of course my longer term outlook. Before we start, like the video and if you want to take your trading towards the next level then check out my trade signal group. First link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. We are very profitable and we are growing very fast so make sure to take advantage. I am trading QNT on BitGet and BitGet is a non k KYC exchange. It has some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges. And if you sign up through my link in the description, you can claim up to 5,000 US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well. So make sure that you go to BitGet if you want to buy or trade QNT. So let's dive into the chart. This is the four hourly time frame. I want to start off this, this video with the imminent short term price action. Let me actually remove some things here from the chart. So yeah, this is the four hourly time frame for quant and since the 13th of february we were seeing some upside here we went from uh, yeah 126 dollars all the way up to 147 since then we saw a pullback here exactly towards the golden fibonacci ratio at 136 dollars and right now we are seeing a slight rotation back to the upside um, in terms of an Elliott wave count, this could be labeled as a wave one to the upside. We came down in a wave two, which is probably finished or is either still ongoing for quant. And after that, we will move up in the three, four and five here in the minor degree. So let's take a look at the indicators currently on the four hourly time frame we are still experiencing a little bit of negative momentum here uh, rsi is currently sitting at 51 on the four hourly time frame which basically means that the upside potential from off this point is huge stochastic rsi is oversold here and it's trying to head back up um, MACD indicator is losing a little, is uh, actually is still trending down and we are not seeing any sign of a reversal yet. So I would not rule out that quant could still come a little bit lower. Strong support below us 136. If we lose that level, then I do expect us to go in between 132 and 133. So that's the imminent short term. Um, what is the first major resistance to break here in the imminent short term? Let's actually see that. First of all, we need to break to 143. If we do so, then I do expect further continuation towards 146. For anyone who wants to open a potential long position with margin or just a spot buy position, you could do so on BitGet. Of course, I'm trading QNT here. And if you wanna trade this, you could set your stop loss at 120 six dollars and your first take profit could be around the 146 and second take profit around 162 which is a pretty big price move from of the current price so that is the imminent short term let's now zoom out here to the daily time frame to see what is happening so let me actually remove the volume so yeah, for the new subscribers, just a quick recap here. I think the bear market low for QNT was actually in on the 13th of June, 2022. Since then we moved up in five waves to the upside to complete a larger Elliott wave one here in yellow. The top was reached there in October, 2022 at $228. Since then we corrected down in this ABC move in this Elliott wave two correction here in yellow. Uh, the bottom was reached here in exactly on the 13th or yeah, 13th of November 2022 at $94. And right now we are in the beginning stage of this larger wave three here, here in yellow. Uh, the price target is somewhere around the $396. This is the minimum target. This is the 1.618 FIP extension of the wave one. The wave three could even extend all the way up as high as $1,000. That is possible. So at the moment I'm tracking this wave count here in green in this wave three. As you know, each wave also consists of five subwaves. And right now it looks like we have completed the wave one and perhaps also the wave two. I cannot rule out that this wave two is already finished for QNT. So let's actually see if that is possible. Let's calculate the price move here. Um, yeah, it is a possibility that this wave two was finished, but it's also possible that we still will come down a little bit lower, maybe towards 121. So that is a possibility. That's why for anyone who's trading this in the short term, stop loss should be set around 126. Um, and for your and for people who want to buy for the long term, you could set some limit orders at 121, and just in case, just in case that this is 
actually an ABC move. So this was an A wave down. We are coming up in a B wave and it will be a C wave down towards 121. And from there on, we could explode in this third wave. That is all possible, guys. This is short term wave counting. It's pretty hard to do. So I would not rule out that we could still come lower. Um, if we break above one, uh, 162, then we have invalidated this idea and then we will move up in this third wave to the upside for QNT. In terms of the indicators on the daily time frame, we are spotting bullish momentum here, which is good to see. Stochastic RSI is heading up and the MACD is about to see a bullish crossover here on the daily time frame, which would be, be a very bullish development. So I will monitor this very closely for you guys. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for watching and I see you in the next QNT update. Bye bye.